Okay. In females, four or five thirds are the roots are present on the ventral surface between the thorax and the abdomen region. It will be mainly in terms after the <coughs> laying bearing one to feeding bearing ones. Okay. And then the trunk bears two pair of pentar dactyl limbs. They have the pentar dactyl limbs. The four limbs are shorter than the hind limbs. Okay. It will be very useful for easy jumping and fast jumping. And all the bees bear claws. The rabbits are living in the soil and they are making the burrows. The claws are very helpful for the making the burrows. And then the ants is present at the posterior end of the abdomen of the base of the tail. Both the male and female containing the anus, the last region of the body. Okay, that is called as anus. The main function of the anus is it is mainly helps in the elimination of the excretion of the nectar. And in females, on the ventral side of the street like vulva is present. Okay, the vulva is a reproductive part of the female reproductive system of the rabbit. Okay, the male penis is present in the ventral surface of the anus. Okay, the female reproductive system. The vulva is present below, below the anus and also the male reproductive system. The penis is present below the anus. Okay. The male has a pair of testes enclosed with the scrotal sacs. And then the tail it is a shot and it is used to keep the signals in the event of danger. It is mainly held for communication within the group of the rabbits. Okay. And the internal point is means a skin. We already said they, their body is covered with fur. It will be helps for the maintenance of the body temperature. The integument of the skin. The integument forms the outer covering of the body. The structures are derived from our hairs and the claws and the nails, glands like straight gland and the sebaceous gland and the mammary glands. What is the functions of these glands? The mammary gland, they are the modified gland of the sweat gland and they secrete the milk, the nourishing their pain one. And then the sweat glands and the sebaceous glands are embedded in the skin, regulate the body temperature. Okay. And then next is a serum or a body cavity. What is meant by serum or a body cavity? The serum is a very important character of the vegetable cell. The rabbit is a serum with animal. The body is divisible into thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity, separated by the transverse partition called the diaphragm. Okay, the diaphragm is a characteristic feature of the mammals. <coughs> the diaphragm is a characteristic feature of the mammals. Breathing movement are brought out by the diaphragm. Okay. The diaphragm is a very important structure. It is maintenance in the process of breathing. Lungs and the heart lie in the thoracic cavity, whereas abdominal cavity encloses the digestive and the urogenital system. Okay. And then, next one is a digestive system of a leaf. The digestive system mainly containing the two parts. They are called as alimentary canal and associated digestive glands. Okay. From the mouth to anus, they are called as alimentary canal. They are containing the digestive glands called as associated digestive glands. The alimentary canal consists of the mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, cecum, large intestine, and the anus. So only we have simply said the alimentary canal which, which will be sorted from the mouth and ends in the anus. And then the mouth, the mouth is a transverse slit bounded by the upper and the lower leaves. It leads to the buccal cavity, which means after the mouth region that is located the buccal cavity, the floor of the buccal cavity is occupied by the muscular tongue, jaws, bears a teeth. Okay, inside of the mouth they contain the tongue and they have a teeth. Okay, the buccal cavity leads into the esophagus through the pharynx. First mouth, then buccal cavity, and then pharynx. And then the esophagus opens into the stomach followed by the small intestine. So, first one is the mouth, and then buccal cavity, and then pharynx, and esophagus, and then stomach, small intestine, cecum, large intestine, and anus. The cecum is a thin walled sac present in the junction of small intestine and the large intestine. <coughs> and it contains a bacteria that helps in the digestion of cellulose. The cecum region mainly containing the bacteria. The Rabbit is a herbivore animal, so it will be feeds a plant. They contain the large quantity of cellulose. It is digested with the help of the bacteria as they are present in the cell. Okay. The small intestine opens into the large intestine, which has a colon and a rectum. The rectum finally opens outside the 
by the anus. Okay. And then it is a structure of the digestive system. And it is a esophagus. Before the esophagus, there there will be the buccal cavity, tongue, and the mouth, and the, the teeth region. After the esophagus, there is present the stomach, and then it will be initiated in the small intestine. Then the small intestine is connected to the large intestine, the region of cecum and the colon, and then rectum. Finally, anus. Okay, the pancreas. The pancreas is called as the associated digestive gland because they produces the digestive secretions like a pancreatic juice. Okay. And then it is a galvanizer. It will be mainly produced as a bile juice. And the digestive glands are salivary glands, gastric glands, and the liver, pancreas, intestinal glands. Okay, they secrete their digestive juices in the digestive system. They are released in the alimentary canal. Okay, so they are the major components of the digestive system. And dentition in rabbit. What is meant by dentition? The teeth arrangement is called as the dentition. The teeth are the very important structure. They will be held and for the feeding and the grinding of food and the cutting of the food. And it is a very hard in structure. Okay, the rabbit has two sets of teeth, so they are classified under the diphyodont dentition. What is meant by diphyodont dentition? In their lifetime, they have the two sets of teeth, which means the first one is called as they are called as milk teeth. After the, some period of ripe stage, it will be fall down, and then again the new firm teeth will be growing. So that is <coughs> so only it is called as the, the diphyodont dentition. Okay, milk teeth and the firm teeth, and then <coughs> the rabbit has a different type of teeth. What are they? They contain in the incisor, premolar, and the molars. So it is classified under the heterodont. Okay. When the animal containing two different types of teeth in their lifetime, it is called as diphyodont. Okay. When the animal containing different shapes of teeth, they are called as heterodont. They containing incisor, premolar, and molar. But the canines are absent. The canines are the tearing teeth. They are majorly present in the <coughs> carnivore animals. Okay. So. In the region of the canine, there is absence in the rabbit because they are the herbivore animal. Okay, so the canines are absent. So there is a absence of the place present in the region between the incisor and the premolar. That the region is called as diastema. Okay, and then it is a dental formula of a rabbit. Okay, incisor two by one. Can I zero by zero? Why we are zero by zero? There is absence of the can I. And then three molar, three by two molar, three by three. Okay, it is a the upper side located in the upper jaw teeth and the lower side lower jaw teeth, which is generally recognized two zero three three by one zero two three as a dental form of a rabbit. Okay, look at here. It is a upper jaw. It is a lower jaw, and the Upper jaw first containing the incisor and the diastema region. Look at clearly. There is absence of the teeth in this region only called as diastema. And then after that, there is contact in the premolar and the molar, both the upper jaws and the lower jaws. And then respiratory system of a rabbit. Okay, the respiration is the important process of the living organism. So it is a In the vertebrate, it is a vertebrate. They are living in the land, so they breathe with the help of the lungs. They have a two lungs. Okay, and the major components of the respiratory system is uh, they contain the larynx, trachea, and the bronchi, which means they are connected the two lungs. And the each lungs uh, they are classified into anterior lobe and posterior lobe. Upper side there is located the anterior lobe, and the lower side there is located the posterior lobe. And each lung is also containing lobules, which means they contain the pores. Okay, and then the respiratory system. The respiration takes place by pair of pair of lungs, which are light spongy tissues enclosed in the thoracic cavity. The lungs is present or lie in between the region of thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity is bound largely <coughs> by the vertebral column, and then ventrally by the sternum, laterally by the ribs, because it is a vital organ. So it will be protected by the thoracic, ventrally, and then laterally. 
Okay, on the lower side of the thoracic cavity is the thumb shaped diaphragm is located. The diaphragm is a structure located below the or between the thoracic region and the abdomen region. It will be mainly helps in the process of breathing. The each lung is enclosed by a double membrane called as pleura. The atmospheric air passes through the external nostril and the nasal passage into the pharynx. Okay. From the pharynx, it passes through the glottis into the windpipe and then bronchi and it will be connected to the lungs. The anterior part of the windpipe is enlarged to form the larynx of the voice box with its wall supported by the four cartilaginous plates. With the help of that, they make a sound. And inside the larynx lies the vocal cord and its vibration result in the production of sound. Okay, it is similar to the human being. The larynx leads into the trachea or windpipe. The so larynx connected to the trachea or windpipe. Tracheal walls are supported by the rings of cartilage which serves in the free passage of air. Okay, so with the help of that, they are going to happen in the process of inhalation and then exhalation. The epiglottis prevents the entry of food into the trachea through the glottis. With the help of that, the food will be the food entry will be avoided within the glottis. The trachea divides into two branches called the bronchi, one entering into each lung and dividing into further branches called as branchioles, which is ending alveoli. Other we say the trachea will be divided into two branchi. Okay, when it will be present within the lung there is presence the alveoli with the help of the alveoli only there is happening the exchange of gases okay generally what is people breathing they contain majorly two process inspiration and expiration okay and they are allowing the exchange of gases mainly they intake oxygen and they release the carbon dioxide okay and <coughs> the inspiration is the active process and the expiration is a passive process and then next one is the circulatory system. The most of the vertebrates they contain in the well developed circulatory system. The components of the circulatory system are they contain in the blood, blood vessels, and the heart. Okay, they are the major component of the circulatory system. The heart, heart is a pure shape and lies in the thoracic cavity in between the lungs. Why it is located in between the lungs? Because it is a vital organ, so it is protected with the help of the, the lateral and the ventral and the dorsal side of different type of bones with the help of the vertical column, ribs and the sternum. Okay. And it is enclosed by the pericardium, a double layered membrane. The heart is covered by the pericardium, double layered membrane. The heart is four chambered with the two auricles and two ventricles. It is also one of the important character of the mammals. Okay. The right and left auricles are separated by the internal auricular septum. Upper chambers are auricles and the lower chambers are ventricles. Similarly, right and left ventricles are separated by the interventricular septum. Okay, look at here, they are auricles and they are ventricles. They are left, <coughs> left auricle, right auricle, left ventricle, right ventricle. Okay, and then the right auricle opens into the right ventricle by the auricular aperture guarded by the tricuspid valve. Okay, the valves are very important for the normal function of systolic and diastolic functions. The left auricle opens into the left ventricle by the left auricular ventricular aperture guarded by the bicuspid or mitral valve. The bicuspid valve also called as mitral valve. Okay, the opening of the pulmonary artery and aorta are guarded by the three semilunar valves. The opening of the pulmonary artery, aorta are guarded by three semilunar valves. Okay, because they are majorly pumping the blood. So only the right auricle receives the deoxygenated blood through the two pre-cable superior vena cava and the one pass <coughs> post cable inferior vena cava. Okay, so the Heart will be receives the deoxygenated blood through the superior vena cava and the right pre-caval vein. Okay, and the, the post-caval vein with the help of that they receives the deoxygenated blood. Okay, and then the left auricle receives the oxygenated blood from all parts of the body. Okay, so the left auricle receives the oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins from the lungs, from the right ventricle. 
it arises the pulmonary trunk which carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs and from the left ventricle arises the systemic or called as aorta which supplies the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body okay and then so the upper side chambers are called as auricles lower side chambers are called as ventricles and they are left auricle right auricle left ventricle right ventricle they are the post cavall veins two post cavall vein and the sorry two pre cavall vein and the one post cavall vein and the left pulmonary artery and the systemic valves they contain also the tricuspid valves and the bicuspid valves okay and then nervous system of the leech sorry nervous system of the rabbit the nervous system in the rabbit is formed of the central nervous system peripheral nervous system and ans which means autonomic nervous system it is also similar to the human being which means cns pns and the ans cns consists of brain and the spinal cord which means central nervous system most of our body functions are controlled by the brain and the spinal cord so only it is called a central nervous system and the pns is formed of 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 37 pairs of spinal nerve this means peripheral nervous system and the autonomic nervous system comprises the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerves it is also similar to the human being but the numbers are varying and the brain is situated in the cranial cavity and covered by the membranes called outer dura mater the heart is covered by the the heart is covered by the <coughs> membrane called as the pericardium like the brain is covered by the three layered dura mater and the arachnoid and the the dura mater and the pia mater and the arachnoid membrane they are covered with the three layered membrane the brain is divided into four brain mesen cephala and the mid brain mesen cephala and the hind brain rhombus cephala okay and the four brain consists of pair of olfactory lobes cerebral hemispheres and diencephala the right and left cerebral hemispheres are connected by the transverse band of nerve tissue called as corpus callosum it is also similar to the human being the mid brain includes the optic lobes the hind brain consists of the cerebellum pons and pons nervi and the medulla oblongata you will <coughs> okay it is there mainly contain takes part in the mammalian brain and it is a structure of the brain of the rabbit it shows the dorsal view it is a olfactory lobe and cerebral hemisphere and diencephalon optic lobes cerebellum and the medulla oblongata okay it is a dorsal view of the brain of the rabbit and then you know genital system what is meant by you know genital system when the reproductive system and the excretory system are located or present combined the they are called as urinary genital system and then excretory system they mainly containing the organs kidney each kidney why we are saying each kidney there is containing the two kidneys there is a pair of kidney each kidney is made up of several nephrons nephrons is called as a structural and functional unit of the kidneys it separate the nitrogenous waste from blood and excrete it in the form of urea okay it will be filter the urea from the blood and kidneys are dull red green shaped organ situated in the abdominal cavity it is located in the abdominal cavity which means the second half of the body from each kidney arises the ureter which opens posteriorly into the urinary bladder and leads into the thick walled muscular duct called as urethra okay so finally <coughs> it is comes out through the urethra from each kidney arises from ureter which open posteriorly in the urinary bladder and leads into the thick walled muscular duct called as urethra and then the reproductive system we have already said the urogenital system they contain the excretory system and the reproductive system so only this is called as urogenital system the reproductive system the rabbit have the sexual dimorphism they contains separate male and female animals they contains the male and female separate reproductive system okay and then male reproductive system the male reproductive system of the rabbit consists of pair of testes which are ovoid in shape testes are enclosed with scrotal sacs in the abdominal cavity the scrotal sacs are located in the abdominal cavity each testes consists of numerous fine tubules called seminiferous tubules 
The seminiferous tubules mainly takes part in the production of the sperms or the male females. This network of tubules lead into a coiled tubule called epididymis, which lead into the sperm duct called vas deferens. And this vas deferens join in the urethra just below the urinary blade. The vas deferens join in the urethra just below the urinary blade. The urethra runs backward and passes into the penis. The urethra runs backward and passes into the penis with the help of the through the penis, the male gamete is ejaculated. And there are three accessory glands, namely the male reproductive system containing three accessory glands. They are prostate gland, cowper's gland, and perineal gland. Their secretions are involved in the process of reproduction. Okay. And then it is the structure of the male reproductive system. They contain the pair of kidneys, okay, right kidney and left kidney. They connected with the help of the urethra and the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder mainly doing the function of the storage of the excreted urine, <coughs> sorry, filtered urine, and then prostate gland, cowper's gland, and the perineal gland. And the, through the penis, the perineal glands, the uh, accessory reproductive gland, prostate, cowper gland, and the perineal gland secretions are functional. And the scrotal cells, okay, within that there is located the testes, within that there is located the seminiferous tubule, and within that they contact the epididymis. The epididymis is doing the function of storage of male gametes, okay. And then the female reproductive system, the female reproductive system, they contain the pair of ovaries. The male containing the pair of testes in the abdominal cavity, the female containing the pair of ovaries in the abdominal cavity. Okay, and it is lies inside. In the male, it is shows outside, but in the female, it is lies inside. And the the fallopian tube ovary is connected with the fallopian tube, and the, it is connected with the region of the uterus, and the uterus and the both the urethra are finally it is connected in the region of the before the region of the anus. Okay. And then they contain the vaginal region, which means which the male gametes is easily entered into the female reproductive system. Okay. And the female reproductive system, they contain the pair of ovaries and a small white structure. They are located behind the kidneys in the abdominal cavity. The pair of ovaries opened in the body cavity by the funnel shaped opening from each side of the ovary. The anterior part of the ovider is the Fallopian tube, it leads into the wider tube called the uterus. Okay. The uterus joint together to form a median tube called vagina. The uterus joint together to form a median tube is called as vagina. The common tube is formed by the union of urinary bladder and vagina is called as the urinogenital canal. The common tube. Okay. That is called as urinogenital canal or it is also called as vestibule. And it runs backwards and open to the exterior by a slit like aperture called vulva. It is located below the anus in the posterior region of the body of a female rabbit. The pair of cowper's gland and the perineal gland or the accessory glands are present in the female reproductive system. Okay. In male reproductive system, there is located three accessory glands. In female reproductive system, there is located two accessory glands. They are called as cowper's gland and the perineal gland. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Anand. Thank you very much.